Hi, it's me again with Kirill, Kirill Droll Tips and Tricks, and I promise this is the last one of this series. I just, just kind of playing and having a lot of fun uh, creating things like this. And I was actually trying to figure out how I could get it instead of on the back of both, have it go through the front, but I have not figured that out yet. But while I was doing it, if you're going to play with this type stuff, make you some copies of your blend so you won't have to do some stuff. And these were made with just a star, a polygon, and a circle, an ellipse. So we're just going to take an ellipse, and then we're going to open the blend docker back up, go under effects and blend, and then take this blend and click right there to new path. And it's going to put it on there and like always blend along full path and hit apply. And then just start having fun with it. I should have maybe actually already converted it to a curve, but we can go to object and convert it to a curve now. So it's going to have more nodes and just click on one of the nodes and start, you know, rotating and, and spreading out and, you know, making your uh, handles further apart, you know, do the same thing on the other side. You know, you don't have to go all the way around, but it is a pretty neat effect because it actually looks like it's going every which way. Then, then you could just, and that's why I say make copies of your blend because after you do that, you're going to want to want to try the polygon. Well, I don't want to start. Stars are kind of plain and simple. Let's go back to polygon. And I'm going to go ahead and make a duplicate of my blend just in case I want to keep playing and then I'm going to grab it along new path and because a polygon acts differently with the shapes uh, as y'all may you know maybe know you know you take your shape tool and click on one of the items and they all come uh, I've actually got too many you know it only lets you do 999 like we've talked about in the other previous deals and I'm I'm talking about something I'm building really big. I do it for the video. This thing is 38 inches. So you can see the individual blends, but you get the idea. You know, if you put these points together, you're going to get a totally different look. You know, and, and just like in the other videos, you can select it all and change the colors of the blends by the blend uh, rotation. Uh, it's just the color blend that you you created when you made the four colors that I made on this. And like I said, that's way too space smart, but it's a cool look. I mean, it kind of looks like sticks. And then you always left click or right click your mouse and take the line away so you can't see your path. But now once you've done that, you can't really do anything with it because it's just a blend. Anyway... Have fun. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.